いてつくがいい悪いがこれで決着だフィニッシュ Lancelot's core gameplay mechanics revolve around him being an extremely mix-up heavy character. He has a command dash with varied follow-ups, a wall jump, a downward aerial dash, teleports, a slow-moving projectile, a thrust special, as well as a wreck special. Compared to the rest of the cast, he's extremely mobile. However, due to the game's cross-up protection and block button, you may find a bit of difficulty using left-right mix-ups. Comparatively, his normals are a bit shorter than the rest of the cast, but his mobility should be enough to compensate. Throughout the course of this video, I'll be going over his specials, the properties they entail, and the possible courses of usage. We'll start off by introducing his unique actions, his Delta Leap wall jump, and go over the various Whirl Bend command dashes. His wall jump is a great tool used for quickly closing in distances on your opponent and for escaping corner pressure. You can also change the trajectory of the jump by hitting the downward forward input. You have free range of tools after accessing these commands, which will tremendously increase your pressure gain. In conjunction with your air command dash, you can create some very interesting situations. After confirming an air normal, it also appears that you can continue with a unique action and continue with another air normal. His grounded unique actions are also pivotal in his gameplay. Being able to manipulate his position so quickly is key to obtaining the upper hand in a match. His regular command dash can lead to a feint, can switch sides, which is important for applying pressure on an unsuspecting opponent. However, none of this is safe to use on block. Inadvertently, just being mobile can get you out of hairy situations. Just as easily as it can lead you into them. One of the lesser explored options I didn't have time to use was his dash into jump, which is reminiscent of his turbulence attack. With proper conditioning, you can create a bait and switch opportunity for low high mix ups. Moving on to Wergenstrom, his projectile. His particular skill is useful for setting up block strings and creating an opening. Skill shouldn't be used as a combo under for damage, as its startup will allow your opponent to block. Skill can be used to apply additional pressure, however. You can also stop spot dodge heavy opponents in their tracks as the move will immediately be active on their character as they return from their dodge form. The blade impulse skill will be one of your best combo enders. Depending on your placement you will be able to switch sides with your opponent and possibly follow up afterwards. This attack however is by no means safe to use in close proximity or to be used as a reversal. Southern Cross is another great combo ender and has the functionality of a Rekka, which is repeated inputs. Using one input at the end of a block string is relatively safe. 
However, using all three inputs will leave you wide open. The EX version of this move can be repeated up to four times additionally. His last special, Turbulence, is his overhead teleport. I'm under the influence of believing that the light and medium versions dictate the horizontal distance traveled. You're free to continue your pressure in the air just as if you were jumping regularly. However, if you were to charge this attack, you would get an, an immediate overhead attack. This overhead is not safe on block whatsoever. but if you do manage to get a counter hit with this attack, your opponent will ground bounce, allowing you to follow up with a combo. This move can get you out of hairy situations and the EX version has invincibility on startup. However, the charge version of the EX attack isn't safe on block either. Lancelot Skybound Art is a Fury of Slashes that leads into knocking your opponent down across the screen. It can be cancelled into from normal attacks. It also has invincibility on startup. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, this is my first video of 2020. I uh, didn't do like a, a channel update. I might do that. You know, I, I am on COVID people's time. Uh, so I'll be late with that. However, um, I just wanted to thank you guys for supporting the channel. Um, I saw a lot of growth last year and uh, I'd like to keep on doing so, providing you guys with content that you enjoy and can learn from. Um, if you have any gripes, concerns, um, let me know in the comments, you know, I'm always open to criticism, positive or negative. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for rocking with me this long and I hope to see you soon.